Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. Last time, we, uh, saw all the elders, but they're all quote-unquote busy doing other things. But we need 10,000 fun points to see them, so we went down here to get 10,000 fun points, and, uh, we may have messed up the computer. And I have a prediction that once we go up there, all the elders are going to be... Uh, they're not going to care about the 10,000 fun points anymore because they're going to be, uh, overwhelmed by the computers going crazy because we formatted the entire system. Uh, and so we're going to have to save them, and yeah, 10,000 fun points no longer useful. Uh, anyway, before I continue, uh, I want to thank, uh, s somebody who uh, gifted me, is the same guy who, uh, let me know that this game was out. Also, get to me a new game, another point-and-click game that has not been done in English as a Let's Play. So, uh, I'm playing it, and it's pretty fun. And, uh, if you want to be a friend of mine on Steam as well, and, uh, donate, perhaps, uh, my Steam name is the game, same as my YouTube one. It's the Gamesmith89. Of course, it's not for completely selfish reasons I'd say this, because soon I will be doing a hello little owl. Uh, little uh, giveaways of games. I have tons of free games to give away, and uh, the vast majority of them are on Steam. So if you want to participate in that, then well, add me as a friend on Steam. The game Smith 89. All right, let's get out of here. Yes, yeah, just you can look at my games and let me know which ones you'd like me to let's play. All that good stuff. So let's finally go to the Council of Elders. Show our 10,000 points. <laughs> Oh. Hey you! Guess wake up! All right, never mind. I'm awake. Wait, what's the robot doing? <laughs> Who's turning red? What do you mean? You have scarlet skin. You're suffering from hydrant pigment. You're as red as a pepperoni. Oh dear! How embarrassing! Exactly. Shame on you. <laughs> Suppose someone had deleted Ronnie's database. Would that be very bad? Don't worry, my boy. That cannot happen. Someone would have to break intentionally into the computer core and manipulate the hard drive. No one's that stupid. Or so daring and cunning. No, I did in fact mean stupid. After all, they would risk destroying Elysium. They're, oh, shut your face. If that computer controlled all of Elysium, why did you not have redundant programs and backups available in case of such a thing. <sighs> I have 10,000 fun points! Oh, congratulations! What a shame the elders are currently dealing with service problems in the chill-out zone. But don't worry, as soon as the bugs are resolved, you'll have your audience. <laughs> and then, there'll be freshly baked brownies for everyone! Mm -hmm. Oh, a little less... <laughs> Nice. Thanks for nothing. No problem. It's my job. I hope that uh, guy getting him the massage is all right, because that thing had egg beaters. So to the chill out zone we go. Well, you seem to be all right. Attention, attention! An important announcement. The 10,000 Fun Point Horizon has been broken. Cease all petting activities immediately and spare your efforts. I'm all petted out for now. There's a crisis here. Something is wrong with the animal database. The system just won't cough up any more striped sables. How are the poor citizens expected to sweeten their everyday lives if there aren't any striped sables to stroke? Which poor citizens? I don't see anyone here except you. Hardly surprising. There aren't any striped sables to stroke anymore. What a disaster. Ah. Uh, and we still can't do anything here. So, uh, he's going to have to deal with that problem. And until that's dealt with, he probably won't come up to listen to us. going on here what are you doing just sitting around here I have 10,000 fun points and demand my audience oh congratulations but I'm a bit engaged right now there's something wrong with the gastro box 
guests are promised food and drink served in a cozy atmosphere. But the food is inedible. Look! Ew. Exactly. Not only that, there are fish swimming in the 40 centiliter drinks. As long as these problems remain, my presence here is of the highest priority. Mwah. I don't know, it's kind of adorable. Aw, oh, man. I just got all the maggots out of this coat. So, this well. is now a matter for the boss. <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> That's good. Get this monstrosity out of my sight before the other guests see it. This restaurant will have to remain closed for as long as high-quality nutritional dishes are not available. Alright, well, let's see. Oh. Looks like someone Drink didn't here. want to eat the fish. But that's the best part of a Kaipurana. I'm sure there are alcoholic beverages out there with like live fish swimming in them or something. Could they even do that? There'd be no oxygen. Apart from the spring form pan, the blender is my favorite kitchen utensil. That said, you should never try to use them to cut firecrackers in half. <laughs> oh dear. I can't pour this drink into the blender as long as that alcohol-dependent little fish stares at me with his cute little junky eyes. Hang in there, little Tuckleberry Finn. Oh I'll my gosh. You <laughs> <in your> home. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a drink for that old fart over there in the process. Tuckleberry Finn. That is, I, if I get a fish, I'm going to name it that. So, uh, what are we going to do? No, stop! Tuckleberry Finn doesn't go in the mixer. Oh, it's one of these puzzle type things. Okay. Haha! <laughs> I knew I would have made a good bartender. All right, so. What do you send to drink fish free? Here you go. A completely fish free drink. Indeed. I always knew that personally attending to this problem would pay dividends. I once and, and for so. all demand my audience. Not while there's no acceptable food being served here. Oh, now we need food. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> too bad. That's too big to versify. Ah, oh, it's gonna make maggot worst. Hmm. Not everything is... Normally, that only applies to pudding, chicken, and maybe muscle tissue. Okay. Is there anything around here to make good food with? And if we open that, that'll just show the uh, disc slot. And what do you have a crown on? Oh, well. Maybe we'll have to come back here. Oh, jeez, good. I thought he would be, like, being killed by the freaking... <laughs> oh, look, well, someone's being killed by the, uh, massage robot. Are you finally coming along? No, my massage isn't over yet. There seems to be something wrong with the robot servants. Ugh, a massage? Is that really necessary? Yes, but don't worry. I wouldn't allow myself to be massaged by a matchstick man like you. Your hands are much too dainty. How about monster feet slippers? Oh, I was right. <laughs> what is that sound? Immediately! Does that mean you're finally ready to come with me? Wrong! The hair on my back needs waxing first. You gotta be kidding. 
Do I look like I'm kidding? Nah, more like something I once saw in a freak show. We have to use wax for hair again? Fine. Well, built of plastic. Oh, that's hot. Like oh, it. quiet. It's supposed to be like that. It's enjoyable. Ah, ah, ah. So, done. Are you finally coming along? No, I think I trapped a nerve in the process. I insist on another massage. Uh, if your plan was to make me cry, you've almost done it. Uh, another massage. Oh, we don't even have... Hmm, what about... Nah, there's already more than enough meat there for my taste. Okay, um... Sample of back hair? Ah, we might use that for the animal thing. There's already more than enough skin there for my taste. Well, we don't have what we need for another massage, I guess. And uh, this is probably going to still be locked, right? Ah, oh, the sauna is closed. <sighs> yep. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All this time traveling is sweaty enough as it is. And we're back at the petting zoo. <laughs> hmm. Can I do nothing here? I need a cartridge, because that's like... There are like five different things that need cartridges. All I need for that, and... The way things look from here, two cartridges. Ugh. <sighs> Do you Forget say your else? stupid striped sable for now. I have much more urgent things on the agenda. Striped sables aren't stupid. They are small, furry, nice, and very intelligent. Yeah, maybe even more intelligent than some of those present here right now. <laughs> Quite possibly. I certainly won't go anywhere without stroking at least one striped sable. Uh, and I still want this little mini moose dog. This thing is the best. Alright, stripe disable. Well, I don't think we can uh, do much more without uh, those cartridges. So let's make our way around a little bit more, see if anything else has changed. You have anything else say to say, Mr. Yes! <laughs> nope. See you later. Or both. He just hangs out there in the, uh, thing, my bobber. Huh, I'll go to the fun zone last, just in case there's, like, something new there. Let's go to the habitat ring. Let's see, anything changed with you two? No? Alright. And let's see if anything's happening with the shower. Nope. Nothing changed here. All right. Will the fun zone still be available? I'm heartbroken. The fun zone is currently closed for security reasons. Ah, oh, figured we'd have stuff to do in the fun zone. So what the heck do I do now? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Oh, close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, because here it comes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, the fish. Hmm. There's oh. nothing 
nothing like the smell of fresh ground maggot. of the chef. Ah, German veal sausage. And there's me thinking that our kitchen was unable to prepare this. After all, the main ingredient is a hotly guarded secret. <laughs> and if my guess is right, one to take to the grave. I once and for all so... demand my audience. And what exactly is your plan? Just sit here until the problem solves itself? I know. The task is a bit unconscionable for a dignitary, but for the well-being of my subjects, I will take this burden upon myself. That doesn't help. What did I, what did I even accomplish with this? Oh, great. That was my idea, and now that I got, like, literally nothing out of it. Back hair and skin. Maybe we could use those to make a striped sable if we had cartridges. Ugh, goosebumps. I wonder if that's the lure of the. Uh. Okay, let's try. Oh, let's see if this works. How about this silverback gorilla hair? Oh, yes, that's pretty. Ever so masculine, too. So soft. And so classy. Oh, silver is very much in at the moment. It's the new mo, don't you know? But nonetheless timeless. Then it is decided. <laughs> Finally. Here, keep these samples. We don't need them anymore. So what do we have now? Stinky graph pattern. Striped sable pattern. Oh, we can give that to the guy. Not Leo. Striped sable. There you go. What am I supposed to do with that? Pet it, maybe. Why? It can't even purr. The well, rabbits can't purr either. <laughs> Perhaps you just can't pet. Hmm. We might actually have to. All I need, Anne. Go back to the computer core. Because Ronnie was saying something about having to feed it in like the thingamabobbers one by one. Did the switch work yet? Hooray! Okay, there's a scanner right here. Let's put this on the scanner and see if that works. Aha! Uh -huh. Scanning DNA sample. Beep. Detecting species. Sable striped bear. Updating database and writing to cartridge. Okay, so how about the Leo pattern? Scanning DNA sample. No species detected. The sample is synthetic. Nah, should have known. Okay, and a stinky grouch pattern is probably synthetic too. Scanning DNA sample. No species 
species detected. The sample is synthetic. Another. Yeah, okay. Scan a DNA sample. Hey, what? that was my hand. Detecting species, clown clone. <laughs> Say what? Are you calling me a clown clone? Updating database and writing to cartridge. <laughs> oh, what nerve. <laughs> well, we are getting cartridges. Oh, clown, we can use that. Oh, I know where we can use that. I know exactly where we can use that. Scanning DNA sample. Detecting species. Plague spit monitor lizard. Updating database and writing to cartridge. <laughs> so, uh, let's grab the cartridge. And we have three of them now. Oh, which one is which? Well, there's the clown, there's the striped sable, and there's the uh, lizard. Put a cartridge in there. And let's see what happens if I do that. Oh, that was the lizard. Whoops. Okay. And uh, this one, I think this just shows you what they are. It showed it and then it disappeared. Don't know if it went anywhere. There's the clown. <laughs> I think for the animal, the habitat, there was two spots for cartridges, so which two do I want to use? The striped sable and then what? Oh, probably striped sable and then the lizard, just so it won't be so big. So let's go up, chill out zone. I just might end up being longer, so just because I don't want to quit. <laughs> Okay, um, and let's put cartridge one here. All right, oh, what do we do? Okay, so we want. Oh, that switches it. Okay. Oh, how am I going to do this? So, we, I think we want the build to be this. It's in a good mood. Stripes. No idea if I did anything right here. Okay, that just created the animals, but how do I actually make them? Oh, there's another slot right here. Oh, great. Um. supposed to be a pet of course oh yes that's just right it's fluffy has sable stripes and isn't too aggressive <laughs> oh i did it oh, what a delight i i felt like i was like completely guessing there So are you done now? Forget your stupid. I have much striped. They are small. Yeah, me. Oh, I. <laughs> I certainly won't go anywhere. Okay, so I have to keep it there. All right. Oh. 
a pe oh. it's f to you while you're petting it. Thank you, unknown Elysian citizen, who bears a striking similarity to our clone servants in Inspector Cletus. <laughs> You've made an old man very happy. Does that mean you'll finally come with me to the Council of Elders? Of course, my boy. Just let me know once you've convinced the other two. <laughs> All right, so he's actually finally convinced. And to convince this guy, they need entertainment. Remember that juggling robot? Well, we don't... I don't know if the clown can juggle, but we'll find out. Bravo! Fantastic! Da Capo! <laughs> I knew I had the makings of a successful producer, and I haven't even begun to cancel vacations yet. <laughs> yeah, he's good. But maybe a, a touch too highbrow to really fill the place. He's literally doing nothing. I once and for all demand my audience. I need to speak to them today. And you will receive it. At least I have a grip on the situation here at last. Just tell me when the other two are ready. And until then, I will enjoy my food and drink served in a cozy atmosphere. Yeah, you do that. All right, well, there's, uh, one guy to go, but how will we convince this guy to finally get up and join us? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to, uh, figure that out next time on Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.